Welcome to the Alcorn family annual apple squeezing. We have developed this into quite a family tradition over the years. Our nice apple press here, such as it is, started out not quite like this. It went through many changes, but it works very good. We use an acne thread for the squeezing out of a irrigation head gate that my brother in Montana got me. And uh, our chipping works very good. We'll demonstrate. Press on them. They go right into the barrel. All chipped up. What's in your chipper? We have a brown wooden circle with wood screws and rows on it. Works very good. And I noticed you're washing your apples. Why is that? Well, because some people like their apples washed. We have a double system. This has bleach in it. Put it over here, rinse them off. Um, these apples here are bought in apples from a cold storage in Wenatchee, Washington. The Fujis came from Chile, and the Brayburns came from Australia, and we bought them in Wenatchee. Amazing. And we are in Silverton, Oregon. Um, so we start out, we used to pick them up off the fields, out of the fields, wherever the apples dropped. Common or rotten, whatever, you rinse them out. We, we did got, not. We did too. We did not. You weren't there. <laughs> and we rinse them off, double rinse them, put them in here. You squeeze it down, put the pressure in it. And this is our pressing pot. Put it on there. And when we first got this, it had a lawnmower steering wheel to do your screwing with 5 8 ready rod. But we soon wore that out. Decided there's a much faster way. This is what we do. These apples here. Being that full, are getting right at two gallons of squeeze. If you're done, just put it back in here. I told you, don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. And we make anywhere from 25 to upwards of 150 gallons a year at times. What's your motor from? This is just an old motor we had off the farm. First one came had an old uh, wash machine motor on it, but it was so weak you couldn't even chip the apples. But we put this big heavy one on there. And this year I even had a little guard to keep fingers out of the belts, clothing out of the belts. That's something new this year. We keep modifying a little bit each year. And over here you can see the dry apples after the squeezing. We feed them the cows. We're lucky. It's raining today. Which means the bees might not be out as bad. Yep, and we have a nice tent over us this year. Usually we don't. And there you go. So, this is a nice apple squeezing day, and we are going to eat lots of nice apple juice. We put it in bottles and have it all winter. <laughs>